Hello everybody and welcome to Historian Hub. Today I'm going to talk about the Nordic Farmer War, a war that took place 6000 years before the events of Skyrim. The Nordic Farmer War was a conflict between the modern immigrants and the native snow elves of Skyrim. Snow elves are a race that lived on Merith during the Merithic era. They were the main inhabitants of Skyrim and had an advanced society. Late in the Merithic era, a tradition of Edmorans began to take place. Edmorans were an ancient race of men who originated from the continent of Edmora. They are considered the progenitors of the Nords and the Imperials, and possibly the Needs. This tradition was to migrate and settle on Merith, which is later known as the continent of Temriel. For a period of time, the immigrants of Edmoran could live in peace with the residents of Merith. This caused a significant increase of residents migrating from Edmoran to Merith. Thus began the build of the first major settlement, Sarthal. Sarthal is now known as an ancient Nordic tomb, but it used to be the capital of Skyrim, built by Iskramor, an Edmoran warrior. There are different theories of what would have caused the war between the two races. The biggest theory is that the reproduction and migration of Edmorans was a threat to the Snow Elves of Skyrim. It is believed that this is the cause of the genocidal campaign that the Snow Elves started up against Edmorans. But there is another theory going around about the cause of this brutal war, and that is greed and fear. This theory describes that Edmorans found an extremely powerful artifact, the Eye of Magnus. It is said that this magical artifact was buried somewhere in Skyrim, and this caused fear and greed under the elves. This combination drove the elves to reclaim this artifact for themselves. Now that we have spoken about the possible causes of this war, let's dive deeper in the war itself. It is a pretty sneaky and unfair game that the Snow Elves played. Out of nowhere they attacked the Edmorans settlers at night. The Edmorans were surprised and did not expect to be attacked at all. They thought they were sleeping in their safeness of their homes. Because of the surprising element of the attack, the Snow Elves were able to kill almost the entire Edmoran population on Merith. Sarthal was destroyed and all that remained were ruins. It is said that there were only three survivors that were able to escape and so back to their roots at Morden. The ones that escaped were Iskramor and his two sons. This unexpected and bloody night is now known as the Night of Tears. At first it seemed like the plan of the elves worked perfectly, but this was simply an illusion. This attack only fueled the wrath of the Edmordans. This wrath was voiced in the form of 500 companions. This group was led by the escaped Edmorden Iskramor. As a reaction to the brutal attack from the elves, a fleet of longboats left the port of Jukavurk as a goal to avenge their slain brethren. The return of Edmordans back to Skyrim is known as the return. During this period of time, Edmordans took revenge and went on and killed and enslaved the elves in a bloody way. The Edmordans took an advantage from the skirmishers. They were able to spread very quickly all over Skyrim and started to win land for themselves. It did not take long until there was only one snow elf commander left, and it is said that the last commander was fallen on Solstheim during the Battle of Musring. The battle was considered to be the final conflict between the armies of Iskramor and the last remaining snow elves. But there was one specific snow elf that was honored by the Edmordans, and that was the Snow Prince, who was a powerful snow elf. The reason that the Edmordans respected him was because he had proven himself to be a worthy enemy for many Edmordan warriors. He was killed in battle with the Edmordans. The elf was buried in a barrow. This is a tradition for the Edmordans in a show of respect for brave foes. Now that we have dug deeper into the war itself, now it's time to talk about the ending and outcome of the war. It is believed that the war was ended during the reign of King Harald. King Harald was the first historic king and was the first to establish a centralized kingdom in Skyrim as it is known now. However, the last recorded skirmish against the Snow Elves was recorded and happened in the First Era, in the year 139. This happened under the rule of Harald, who was at the time just a lord. The outcome of the war resulted in the fact that humans were becoming ascendant on the continent of Temriel as a whole. That modern campaign of conquest did not only break the long dominion of the Myr on Merith, it also freed the most of the neat population of men from elite slavery. Needs were a race of men who existed throughout the Merithic era. Aliens, who were a race of men, enslaved the Needs. They were believed to be brutal slave masters. With the help of elven prisoners of war, Sarthal was built and new cities as Windhelm were soon founded. And soon enough the first human empire was founded and born. 
It is believed that the elven knowledge from the war was used by humans to develop their writing skills. The remainder of the snow elves that managed to survive the war and enslavement of their kind pleaded with the Dwemer for aid and quarter. Dwemer was an ancient lost race of Myrthal. The Dwemer were an advanced race and civilization. In many aspects they were already far ahead of other civilizations. And initially the Dwemer agreed in their plea, offering the snow of refugee to the dwarven cities. But later on the Dwemer ended up betraying and enslaving the remaining snow elves. It is believed that the elves were mass poisoned. The Dwemer forced them to eat poisoned fungi that would cause blindness, an act that would also affect their offspring. After this the Dwemer disappeared. From the moment of the poisoning the elves gradually devolved into cave dwelling beasts. These beasts are known as the farmer. But a few elves managed to escape the Ermordens and did not make a deal with the Dwemer. The only known case is the Chantry of Ariel, an isolated series of temples across the Forgotten Vale, where hundreds of elves took refuge. But it did not take long until the farmer slaughtered the last of the remaining elves. There were only two known remaining elves, the brothers Knight Paladin Galibor and Archcurant Thither. It is least to say that this war has caused a lot of change in this era of Skyrim. Merith went from once a very peaceful and calm place to live, to a place filled with rage and fear. Because of the step the snow elves took, they basically began wiping out their own entire species. This was a mistake that they could not possibly turn around. Thank you all so much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have a subject that you want more explaining about, let us know in the comments below. See you next time.